Hi folks, this is Kane from Bros Before Foes, and this week Xeno and I will be continuing our campaign in Orcs Must Die 2. Alright, so I'm Kane. Play. Create party. Fight your sorry ass. <laughs> well, I mean, someone's gonna carry you. <laughs> That's true in this game anyway. <laughs> well, basically in every That's game. That's true in every game. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll take the right. Okay. Alright. Uh... B to choose defenses. Tar pits, spike things. I'm going to use the shotgun. And. Mm, maybe spring trap? Oh. Okay. Alright, I'm ready in yard. Oh no, I didn't press any traps down. Well, go place traps down, you baddie. I am, I am, I am. You're going to come over here and help you since you're struggling, apparently? <laughs> you think I'm struggling? Looks like it to me. Eh, not really. So what other games have you been playing as of late? Um, I've been doing some Factorio, playing a lot of that. Well, Factorio is a fun game. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to build like super efficient factories versus just, you know, huge cluster messes, we'll call it. Well, you're usually better at those type of games where you need that kind of thinking of efficiency and what have you than I am. I usually just go with, all right, what's the easiest way to make this work as opposed to trying to figure out a more efficient way of having it work? Yeah, I get stuck in the the long game. I think like, oh, this will work now, but it's probably not going to work later. Which usually ends up in not getting much done because I spend too much time trying to think about what isn't yet. My only problem with Factoria at the moment, I mean, it's great at the building aspect. I like it, and I like the researching. The o my only real problem is that the enemy threat is pretty easily mitigated. I think the last time we played it, we had a automated turret set up all around the map yeah and you know i don't think that's really changed very much i think it's really only meant to cause problems for like the early game all right all set just trying out these like paladin guys mm -hmm. how are they working for you oh they i mean nothing's gone through so well enough i suppose yeah i seem to have to rely on my traps more because i feel like i don't really have a good weapon yeah, I think it's the player personally. <laughs> I mean, you're bad, and you should probably feel bad. Nah, nah, I don't. I don't feel bad. We'll see what the stats are at the end of this. I got these traps down that are supposed to reset them back to the beginning. Does it work? I don't know. Very few guys have gotten to try to trip it, so I haven't tried. We haven't. Well, some people have tripped it, but I've never really seen it. Oh, I think I just died. Good job there, genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the sappers. I was a little too close to them. I don't know what other games to uh, play as of late. Other than Sanctus Reach, there hasn't really been any other games that I've been playing as of late. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I got about, what, four games on rotation at the moment? Could certainly use some, like, new titles, though, that's for sure. Yeah, I hear you in that. I haven't really been playing that many new titles. I'm looking forward to Mass Effect when that comes out, as well as Dawn of War 3. But that's about the extent of it. Uh, Dawn of War 3 not... is what I'm looking forward to. Dawn of War 3 is what? It's the one I'm looking forward to. Well, I do like a good Bioware RPG, and Mass Effect is eh, pretty much as good as they come. I don't know. I just didn't get hooked with Mass Effect. I wanted to. Like I, People seemed to like it. I just couldn't. Well, the first one was decent, but the second one and the third one seem to have, at least like the combat mechanics, are a lot better. See, I found the controls very, I don't know, like, stiff? Like, I, I don't know. Is it a port? It felt like a port to me. Yeah, it is a port uh, off of the consoles. The, let me think. You also have, say, the, um, I can't even think of its name. Cannot think of the names worth the life of me. Hmm. I, I can't, uh, the name is uh, losing me. Were you playing the original Mass Effect or Mass Effect 2? That was Mass Effect 2. Alright, I don't know. That felt a lot better for me when I played. Well, to be clear, the, um, the opening, at least, was very energetic, very well scripted, like, thoroughly enjoyable, like, as far as those things go. But once the actual, like, gameplay started, I just wasn't there. I was just like, eh, I'm not, not digging it. I do not like those flying bastards at all. Yeah, if you had, like, the freezing ring, they'd be trivial. And while I kind of like this stone staff, 
The stone staff is not doing the damage that I was hoping for. Oh, that's implying that. Oh man, this is a big wave. Woo! I don't like these rock golem things. Are they called earthlings? Yeah, I have no idea what they're called. Yeah, they're usually good, like, if you just stun them. I love watching them get hit by those rail cars. That is satisfying on so many levels. Yeah, I agree. They definitely. I like that you can also swap the rail cars around sometimes, so that way they come in on uh, different tracks. Can you? It depends on the level. This level you can't, um, but uh, some of the other levels you can. Did not know that. <laughs> that never what? gets old. Just those rail cars. Try not to die this time. What? Oh, I didn't look at the stats. Dang it. Oh, I didn't look at it either. Oh, man. I felt like I was carrying you big time. So I guess I'll take this bottom track. Wait, that's where they're heading. No, they come out here, right? There's two entrances. So you're at one yeah. entrance. I'm at the other. Okay. All right, let me see here. Uh, not going to do that one. Not really seeing much that's like, yeah, this will be awesome. Because we don't have a lot of uh, spots. Can I throw the haymakers up here? I can! Okay. Alright, I'm very happy now. Okay, that's good. I'm glad. I'm ready when you are. Flyers on your side, by the way. Oh, Actually, come I on, think really? on your side. I'll take <laughs> care of the flyers. Where do they come out at? Is like a little orb where they spawn from. I don't see flyers though. Because I already killed them. Huh. You have a map, you can see where they spawn. Oh. Oh. Oh, is that that is? Yeah, that's what that is. Oh. So they spawn. Oh, way up there? Is that where they spawn up there? Mm hmm. How am I supposed to kill those? You shoot them. Hmm. That's what you do. <laughs> I love those spring traps. Yeah, spring traps actually work pretty well. Anything that can get you kind of like an instant death in my book works pretty well. Mm hmm Oh, I just got spanked by that ogre. Yep, that's why I stunned him. Good call. <laughs> I like the quips that they constantly make. Yeah. <laughs> oh. A right. legless orc is such a tragedy. Oh, another ogre. Man, those th things have some serious reach. The ogres? Oh, yeah. Oh, I just died. <laughs> <laughs> you are bad. Yeah, that's true. I'll admit it. Yeah, I'm actually kind of liking that now, because it makes the ogres pretty trivial. All I got to do is just make sure that, all right, you know, especially if there's two or three in one spot, I can AoE them and stun them both at the same time and just DPS them at my leisure. Yeah, that'd certainly be a big plus. Well, once you get the ability to do the freeze trinket, you can do the same thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What, 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 what? Alright, I should be fine. Those are like famous last words. Yeah, I got too, um... I got too close to an ogre by accident, and uh, so it whacked me. So it kept whacking me to stun me. And I couldn't, you know, stun him in return. <laughs> it's really just like build more spring traps. Yeah, I'm just building a whole bunch of spring traps at the moment. Because, you know, why not? How come you're not dropping them on this edge? They're more likely to walk here, aren't they? Hmm? Oh, I'm going to have the um, sprayers here. Though I could probably put spring traps there, too. Just they're more likely to hug the inside wall as they come around that corner. So you're missing a potentially huge amount of mobs. Meh, kind of, sort of. The earlier spot kind of takes care of that pretty quick. My main worry is the flyers. That... Yeah, I'm working on them right now. This blunderbuss is not the ideal sniping at range weapon. There. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I'm starting to like the staff. <laughs> it's growing on you? It's growing on me. I think I should probably invest some money on my uh, weapon. Yeah, you can do that. There's one of the weapons that allows you uh, upgrades that allows it, so that way occasionally when you shoot your blunderbuss, it'll knock down large opponents like your ogres. That would be useful. Before I forget, stats and oh my god. What? Xeno. Do you even play? Is it that bad? It's 64 to 36. Uh, I don't know. Unless traps don't count as kills. Why wouldn't they? 
because it shows here, it says combat kills and then trap minion kills. And trap minion kills is at like 574. Oh, I don't know then. The main problem is that our rift points is not perfect because of some reason. I didn't let any get through. When you die, it loses three rift points. Oh. I don't know why my percentage is so low. I felt like I was killing a lot, surprisingly. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, so there's only one way this time. Oh, there'll be a second wave over here. Um, about halfway through, that door will open down here, and they'll pop out of that. So everything down this hallway obviously will kill everything, but we don't have so this... the ability to... You got one long hallway to kill the stuff that is coming in this way. So we're going to have... all a... It's all one lane. Okay. It's just a matter of where do they pop in during the lane. So, let's take a look, quick look. So, up here, in the, at the start, we can put ceiling traps down. And we can do put ceiling... Do you have ceiling, ceiling traps? Yeah, I got ceiling traps. We can put ceiling traps here and on the other side. The jumping one that I usually like to use, like I used last time a lot, is not really going to help us that much here. Well, I'm just going to gum up this L-bend right here. This seems like a good choke point for both lanes. Yeah, I mean, it is a good choke point, don't get me wrong. Let me see here. Do you have tar pits? Yep. Uh, this is also not really good for wall traps. This beginning area that I'm in is really good for floor traps and wall traps. I don't really have that many options. No, I don't Can want that. Ceiling trap the heck out of that. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the... That's the goal, ultimately. But when you get a chance, if you can come up here and put a lot of tar down underneath the ceiling traps, so that way it's going to take them a significant amount of time to get through. Where are the ceiling traps at? I'm going to pop them down right now. Yeah, I wouldn't even bother with the those traps. We can... Um, oh, they won't fit anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm just thinking along the lines of probably get this whole area like heavily, you know, kill Gunned spot up. right here. Yeah, I'll probably put another thing here. And then in between levels, I'll start gumming up the beginning, so that way we get less that comes through. Mm -hmm. I just, like, come over that hill and then right into the meat grinder. You like that, huh? Yeah. And then if it gets too heavy, stun all, stun them all so they remain in the meat grinder. Hold the line, Kane. Hold oh, we're fine. the line. Back up a bit. Let our traps do some work. <laughs> <laughs> they said there were sappers yep. coming. Yeah, they did, and then we killed them. I didn't even see Sappers them don't have a lot of life. Alright, I'm going to throw some more uh, traps up here, so that way to really mess with them more. I mean, we'll never really know how much of that really helps. I'm sure it helps a lot. It seems to at least chew them up for a little bit. At least it'll slow them down, generally. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to definitely have to upgrade that, because that seems to be pretty damn effective. Yeah, the knockdown the blunderbuss gets is nice, too. Gives you a little more breathing room. Exactly. But yeah, this is ridiculous. You get ain't one of these meat grinder goes. So ain't nothing getting by that. Well, that you you got like two meat grinders already. <laughs> nothing getting <laughs> up these stairs. I know, right? It's like all right between the uh, grenade launcher and the stun, you almost don't even need the traps. What? Or not, I guess I have no idea. There's the ice amulet. Freezes enemies at range. Mm -hmm. So if you hit a flying target with it, they generally just fall to the ground and chatter. So all you got to do is hit it once, and it automatically does a spread five shots going in horizontally. Hmm. Sounds pretty good. And I do, and I do believe that will be it. Oh, oh! Hit the stats! Hit the stats! Oh, got it. Fifty-nine percent, Kane. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed that. This is Kane from Bros Before Foes, and this is Zeno, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.